What is it guys, Tyra once again, and I'm coming at you guys with another content of Cookie and Kingdom. In this video, I want to showcase and review Strawberry Crate Cookie, who is one of the best defense cookie right now inside of the game and i just want to go over and review them one more time anyways guys if you guys do find this video helpful don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys miss out on any future clicking hit the videos as well as live streams that i do on youtube anyways guys with all that out of the way let's get right into the video Alright guys, so here we go, Strawberry Crate Cookie right over here, level 60, fully maxed out, and I don't, I believe when I did do a Strawberry Crate review, I think that was probably one of the like earliest videos that I actually made for this YouTube channel. And I did want to go back and review them one more time because of the fact that even now, Strawberry Crate Cookie is one of the best defense cookies that you can use for not only the world aspiration, but also for the arena as well. Alright, so let's go over the stats real quick. As a defense level 60 5 star promotion with 5 swift chocolate toppings on Strawberry Crate right now, HP is going to be at 184,597. Attack is going to be at 20,450. Defense is going to be at 56,448. Crit is going to be at 15%. Making Strawberry Crate Cookies total attack power at 107,769. Going over the skill of Strawberry Crate Cookie, it's going to be Crate Thrust, and it is going to be a 15 second cooldown. It is going to be the same cooldown as Cocoa Cookie, who I did quickly review yesterday with the promotion event video. And it says, uses the giant crate arms to cause area damage, reduces damage received by two allies targets cookies first with the lowest max hp and it is going to be doing a single hit damage of 578.2 percent at level 60 and it is going to be providing that 50 percent extra damage resist buff for two of the lowest hp cookie over eight seconds right and with the toppings i did put the toppings that i had for a uh, cocoa cookie and i'm gonna actually remove my camera real quick and that is going to be with the damage resist as well as the cooldown. So with Strawberry Crate Cookie, you have two options as well. It is going to be using either a full solid almond or a full sweet chocolate toppings. Honestly speaking, right now with all of the meta comps going on, it is going to be fine swift chocolate. But you still need to focus on having good damage resist. And that is going to be around 20 to 25% if possible. And of course, you do want to have the cooldown around 17.3% at least with the set bonus, which is going to be 22.3% in order to allow Strawberry Crave to have a 3 second start inside of the battle. Alright, so let's just utilize Strawberry Crave Cookie right now inside of World Exploration and then we'll dive right into the arena to showcase how viable Strawberry Crave Cookie is. Alright guys, so we're just going to be going right into the Cake Witch and we'll be soloing using the Slingshot as well as a Lollipop and see how well Strawberry Crave does. Of course, this is not going to be the best measurement, but I just wanted to solo because it is going to be a little bit harder for all of the cookies to actually solo after pass 8-30 all right when it comes to 9-30 um, 10-31 it is hard for a cookie to solo so this is probably one of the best ways to actually allow them to showcase uh, their skills as well as ability so as you can see strawberry crepe is going to be slapping twice with the arm in case uh, this time the ghost but it is going to be doing about let's see 10,000, 18,000, 13,000 with the crit 8,000 against a stronger enemy right there. And with the lollipop, it's going to be about, yeah, 15,000. And against weaker enemy, about 20,000. All right, utilizing the skill right over here, you can see that it is going to be attacking every single one of them, causing a knockback. And will also provide this damage resist buff that you will have on two other lowest HP cookie. All right, and we are going to be versing the cake witch here now. And I'm going to be utilizing the lollipop as well as slingshot. And you can see we did about 20,000 damage right there. And we are going to be slapping the cake witch to death right there. Alright, and then we will be utilizing the skill one more time. Using the lollipop as well as slingshot. 18,000 damage. Not too much. Alright, but I think that, that was not 18,000. It was 180,000. Yeah, I think I read it wrong. But 180,000 right there, guys. Alright kind of miss right there there is a limit all right when it comes to actually damaging and when a strawberry creep does use uh, their skill but 
we can see that it's gonna be yeah 141,000 with the lollipop it was 180,000 so not too bad of course even though strawberry crepe is a defense cookie they are able to do a ton of damage with their skill as well and a very low cooldown of 15 seconds but let's go into the arena and see how well they do as well all right guys so i'm gonna be using strawberry cray cookie as the only front against a master three i am currently in diamond one right now but we are going to be using frost queen sea fairy as well as parfait and cotton here with only strawberry crepe in the front let's go and see how well they do so here we go we are going to be reversing them with the double tank hollow berry as well as cotton on the other team right there as the only uh support but we shall see how well they do so as you can see right here we do have this damage down buff for both frost queen and sea fairy allowing them to take less damage and as you can see right they are taking like no damage because of the buff okay so a lot less than how much uh the supports as well as the frontline tank is taking allowing them to increase the survivability of those two cookies all right and that's the reason why it is going to be a very very good counter against uh the kumio comp that are going around right now right so if you're using utilizing strawberry crepe then you are going to have the two of the cookies all right survive which is mainly going to be your sea fairy and frost queen or whoever it's going to be and will be allowing them to actually kill off the team but right here as you can see, even though Strawberry Crepe is not a damage dealer or a DPS, Strawberry Crepe is able to do a bit of damage. And Sea Fairy and Frost Queen are able to survive with the help of the 50%, dealing a ton of damage to the enemies. Right? And damage received is going to be a lot higher because of the fact that Strawberry Crepe is utilizing 5 Swift Chocolate rather than a full solid almond. But with the help of the feather as well as the knockback, it is going to increase Strawberry Crepe's survivability a little bit, even with a lower damage resist. But there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for Strawberry Crepe's review. A very short review, honestly speaking. And right now, currently, I would say even with a solo tank, it is okay. But the arena meta right now is going to be a double tank with the Hollowberry Strawberry Crepe or Hollowberry Cocoa. Um, it is going to be okay for you to use a single tank however i do recommend you utilize it with double tank that i've shown in a lot of my other previous uh team composition videos but still i have to say strawberry crepe is one of the best defense cookies out there and a frontline tank and that is going to be alongside coco as well as hollowberry all right so that is going to be it for the review video i do recommend if you do not have hollowberry to at least build crepe because of the 50 percent damage resist buff as well as the knockback and also it is going to be better for you to actually utilize strawberry crepe inside of your team especially for world desperation where a lot of the enemies start attacking your back lane as well and provides that 50 percent damage resist all right so i do want to say strawberry crepe is going to be a great option for you if you do not have a frontline tank yet and i do highly recommend building them for your team anyways guys i do hope you guys found this video helpful if you guys did don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys miss out on any future getting in the videos as well as live streams that i do on youtube anyways guys thanks for watching once again and i'll see you guys all next time